Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Be a good, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, you folks, I'm playing a video series of videos I've been doing for the one hour. I go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. And folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I am on review number four. I got one after that, and I'm done for the day. You can't make me can't make me. So what am I trying for y'all today? Well, we got to get to some other stuff, but I, I I did it out of order. I'm inside the truck, but I'm not wearing grody work clothes, thankfully. In fact, I'm wearing one of my cool shirts. When I wear one of my cool shirts, I like to highlight the cool shirt. So what cool shirt am I wearing, folks? Boom! It's my ugly American shirt. It's pretty evident from without the boom, but it, it helps. You get to see all of Leonard's face. He's a wizard. Oh, man, Ugly Americans, uh, fantastic show that was on Cartoon Network a while back. Um, only got two seasons. Sadly, not only was it cut short, but it doesn't really seem to have achieved proper cult status. Like, no one really seems to remember this one. And it's so sad because it was so funny and it was so good. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks, now that I finally got the order of operations out of the way? Well, like I said, this is the fourth review that I'm doing. I'm doing it after work. Boy, oh boy, I sure could use some energy, so we're going to do boom! It's G Fuel, but it's not just any G Fuel. It's G Fuel Hype Sauce Energy Drink. It's zero sugar, energy, focus, endurance, blah, 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 blah. It's the official energy drink of eSports. You know, that thing I care about. Proof, folks, that it's not just physical sports that I won't watch. I don't give a shit about esports either. I just don't care. It's just I don't care. I don't care. I will occasionally watch a basketball game because I like the Bulls, but I only do so when they're winning because, quite frankly, if they're not winning, fuck them! Not the players, but, you know, the... the I mean, some of the players are shitty occasionally, but yeah, more the, the upper management and stuff like that, so... Right now, they're doing not great. So, But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't give a shit about freaking esports or anything like that. And really, the G Fuel stuff, I've done a couple of G Fuel reviews. The only thing that really kind of usually prompts me to go over there and try this stuff is if there's, like, some sort of, like, a mascot tie-in. Like, I did a Mega Man Energy or G Fuel review. Go watch that one. I love Mega Man. Then they had a Crash Bandicoot one. Same thing. And now we got Hype Sauce. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. I bought this at some point, and it's been in my fridge for a little while, so I just figured, what the fuck, let's get it out of the way. So, I don't know what the hell Hype Fuel is supposed to taste like. Does it have a thing? I don't think it has a thing. Let's try a thing. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Just you and me. No one else has to know. Smells kind of like maybe blue raspberry-ish or something. Ugh. I'm definitely going to say there's some raspberry in this. There's something else, but I'm not sure what it is. It's tart. I'm not big on tart as a as a flavor. If you use it properly, if you create counterbalance to it, it's fine. This, it's just, you get this, I mean, it's not super tart or anything, but you get this very tart hit, and then it's just backed up by a very sweet kind of energy drink taste. With some maybe raspberry. There's some sort of a fruit flavor. I'm going to, like, a raspberry or a cranberry, some sort of tart fruit, but then just sweetened up. That's what hype sauce tastes like. I have to make, I have to make the point, folks. It doesn't live up to the hype. Yeah, man, this is... All right, good things about it. It's not horrible. I'm not bleeding from my eyes or anything. It's zero sugar, which a lot of energy drinks increasingly are, um... And the good thing about that, even though I don't typically care that much, 
is that it means that they're typically doing better at hiding the zero sugar aspect and the flavor. And that mostly works here. You can still taste the zero sugar aspect of it, but it's not abrasive. And as for the flavor itself, I mean, it's not bad. I'll give it credit in that it, it packs a punch. Um, but for me, the problem is, is just as a flavor, I don't like it very much. Like it's not, and it's not even one of those things where it's like, I hate this or anything. It just does not appeal to my palate is really what it comes down to. I'm not huge into tart stuff. If it is like a raspberry or a cranberry kind, I'm not big on either of those fruits. Um, again, if you use them properly, they can be really nice. And then, like I said, it's just kind of after the punch of tartness, it's just kind of this sweet, you know, kind of energy drink. And mm, yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not into this one. Like, I don't hate it, but by that same token, it's just it's not anything I'm into. Um, I mean, the Mega Man one, I remember actually enjoying a fair amount. And the Crash Bandicoot one, I actually liked. I think it was like a peach-flavored one. This one, mm, no. It's... Not only does it not appeal to my palate, the aspects of it that aren't actively unappealing are just kind of generic tasting and not really anything that I would ever want to invest in again. Like it just outside of the, the, the tart aspect of it, it really does just taste like a fairly basic bitch energy drink. Yeah. I'm not into this one. Um, it's not horrendous. It's not the worst energy drink I've ever had, but two questions have to be asked, folks. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No, and no, no. I think that even by G Fuel standards, there's, like I said, both the ones that I've had previously, the Mega Man one and the Crash Bandicoot, were better than this. This is a, this is a low bar for me. And for me... Even those ones that I liked are not my favorites in terms of energy drink. There's way, there's a lot of brands that I prefer over G Fuel stuff. Um, so for me, it's definitely a no-go. Yeah, I'll finish it. I won't hate doing so, but it's not going to be something I'm going to, excuse me, revel in either. Excuse me again. And as for recommending it, I mean, no, I, I you know, I mean, I'm sure there's folks who like it, uh, but I'm having a hard time picturing those people. Usually I try to kind of put myself in other people's, you know, scenario. I mean, if you like tart, it's got some tartness to it. Uh, it's not horrible. I just, yeah, I don't really, you'd have a, you'd have to have a very different flavor profile than my own for this to be something I could recommend for you. So if you watch my reviews and constantly disagree with my assessments, this might be for you then. So anyway, that's going to do it for me on this one. Um, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Mind your mind for rest of month. Stupendous rest of year. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly... Uh, er, um, let's see. Let's come up with a thing. Uh, have, your, have yourself an ape escape rest of your life. Because I was like trying to come up with like a good video game mascot thing to, to work off of. Because it seems like the ones that have the mascots on them are the ones that taste better. So maybe if they go over there and come up with an Ape Escape uh, G Fuel, maybe that'll be the tasty one. But uh, Banana flavored. Where's my check? Where's my check? Anyway, uh, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... We do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. It's not always the easiest thing in the world to do, folks. Trust me. Try, trust me, trust me on this one, man. I am <laughs> I am fading out so hard right now. This is the fourth review I've done, and I've got one left. And boy, oh boy, do I just want to go inside and go to sleep. But no! I must trudge forward. 
And if I find myself feeling stressed out, frustrated, it's important that I go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in my life, hopefully do better for myself and those around me, and hopefully you can do the same as well. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to pitch your, your Ape Escape uh, the flavored G Fuel stuff to G Fuel. And maybe the president of G Fuel, who I can only imagine wears a backwards hat constantly, just be like, yeah! And then they go over there and make it. And, you know, eventually I run into it. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little spurned because, I mean, I... It, it's it's like an album, right? Like, I don't even need royalties. Just, I'd like my name in the credits. I'd like to have my name associated with something Ape Escape related. I love Ape Escape. Don't shun me like that. Don't. I ask for so very little. Or conversely, uh, <laughs> maybe just go out at the time I'm doing this. The Mega Man 1 is still available. Go get yourself the Mega Man 1. Bye!